Do you have eyes in? Okay, god damn it. We really fucked up. We went too long. It's too late. No problem. There's All right, Spencer. That came Spencer. Spencer. All right, Spencer. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons speed round. Time for a... Do, 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 do. Dungeons and Dragons. Quick, 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 quick quickie. <laughs> it's a special segment. <laughs> Where we play Dungeons and Dragons in ten minutes and get the fuck out of here. Sorry. Dungeons and Dragons intru- introduction segment. After tussling with a gelatinous cube in a pit... No. Uh, our heroes came upon a horrendous scene. A vicious barbarian raid on the White Skull Knoll Village. It was here that Sharpie's father, Lord Mango Butzalot, revealed himself, hurtling headlong at the party. Swords and spells flew as the forces clashed, but when the dust settled, the barbarian lord lies sleeping on the floor, suffering from a face full of magic. There our adventurers <laughs> stand in the wreckage of the White Skull camp as dawn breaks on the grassy hills of the Butts Peninsula. So if you recall, you're standing in the wreckage of this knoll village, right? And he like you, you knocked him out. And yeah, my you're dad like gonna was draw a dick violent. on his head or something. And we but we took him out systematically, yeah. and uh, now he's sleeping it off. And you're figuring you were you're thinking about taking his anchor. I remember right. that. And we love. Oh, right. he, he was wielding an anchor, which is yeah. awesome. Go, <clears throat> speed round. Uh, level three. Uh, yeah, I, I, I got a new thing called power attack. I'm excited about that. Uh, power attack. You no, can, no, no, uh, no, 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 no. I, I didn't say I want a power attack. <laughs> I got, are, you, are, you, are you describing power attack? I, I would have if you didn't stop me. I, 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 I thought just by mentioning it, I was going to kill uh, but the Sharpie butts a lot by accident. <laughs> Please tell me what. what no, it's what, fine. The moment's gone. What, we'll come back to it. Oh, shit. <laughs> As Lord Butzalot sleeps on the floor, you notice several barbarian war- warriors suddenly creep out of hiding. Oh, shit. They Power se- attack! They seem weary. <laughs> oh, wait. Do you, uh, uh, McGathy's... Uh, 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 Fremen fr- 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 Summonen... Uh, c- c- cinnamon mustache. C- cinnamon mustache. Uh, <laughs> so, so, sorry, Aaron. Can you, can, you, can, you, can, you, can you play your character? Sure. Speed, come up I'm here. sorry. I... Aaron McGathy, everybody. As Malorain Sadana, which Vache Panos tells me, uh, Sadana is Armenian for Satan. <laughs> for real. Well, I love cinnamon mustache. <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry. So there's, is, that, is that where somebody shits in your chest? <laughs> 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 there, there's barbarians coming out of the out of the bushes. They seem weary and relieved. Oh. They approach you, calling out, "Hey, hey, hey!" <laughs> Easy with the magic. I, I, hey man, only using as much as I have to. Thanks, thanks for knocking out our war chief. He gets kind of crazy, you know, when he's raging. Hey, listen, how's it going? How's hey, it going? You should have been to dinner on Tuesday nights. I'm, I'm his son. <laughs> <laughs> Sharpie, Sharpie butts a lot. Sharpie butts a lot. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice I'm Levi you. Leonard. We've actually met before. Oh right, yeah. Ages okay. and ages past. Well, I was a little drunk. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, so you guys. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm talking to the barbarians. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, so you, 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 I came to, I came to stop you because you're headed for the, uh, you're headed to talk to the uh, dwarves, right? No, see, that was just a clever ruse to throw them off our trail. We really came here to this knoll village to wipe it out. Whoa. Yeah. The plot thickens. God damn it! I can't keep up with this shit. And I, and I also have to confess, I've never read a single this, thing on any of this, these. <laughs> never ever. Like sometimes we're up against the wall, and I'll go like, "A uh, uh, snake handler." You want to cast snake hand? Yeah. I get and I get lucky. <laughs> But we're level three now, so I'm going to try but, to. But these are these are ostensibly people who uh, were on their side because this is, these, these are friends of your your sleeping father, right? These are my peeps. Yeah, those are your peeps, ostensibly. Ostensibly. Uh, I I ask these barbarians uh, as a barbarian myself. I I greet them with my uh, with with the old barbarian handshake. <laughs> All right. <laughs> For the podcast listeners, Jeff is giving a very elaborate handshake. All right. Yeah. For the podcast listeners wrestling. specifically, you you the first person on the left holds their hands together as if in prayer. The other person does the same and holds their hands 90 degrees right. and they uh, they bisect each other's fingers um, and then look through each other's hands and chuckle. Yeah. It's a goodie. 
Yeah. Yes, yes, we did expect you. You see, Yurch, he was here before. He told us you'd be coming. Aha. Uh-huh. Well, uh, we're here. Uh, again, thank you for killing or not killing our barbarian lord. Please don't loot his body. It's important to us. So, hey, it couldn't be more important to me. I mean, he 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 came me. <laughs> Now, when he wakes, when he wakes up, is that what, what do we? How, how do we get him on our side? Will he wake up in a better mood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was raging, you know. Oh, so he, he was can't just drunk. See. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was drunk. I'm, so I'm trying to wrap my mind around, and I'm so sorry. I, 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 Ask I, questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Nice. You guys weren't headed towards any dwarves at all. No, you see, the dwarves are our enemies, but that was not the the intention of this mission. Oh, that's what you told everyone you were going to go do, and then yeah, you're going to go yeah. on this secret assassination mission. We were really looking for something. Well, what's going down with the dwarves? I'm distressed by all this talk. I mean, forever, human and dwarf have been uh, inextricably bound by humanoidness. I have no problems with dwarves per se, but the Hammerbeard dro- dro- uh, the Hammerbeard dwa- tribe themselves. They're very warlike. They're martial. They're not normal dwarves. They've been trying to overtake this plains for years. Are you they're saying ga- they're bad dwarves? Yeah, I'd say so. Take your word for it. No, no, you, <laughs> you said you were here to find something. What, what, what were you specifically here to find? You see, that's actually classified. I think only Mango knows. Let's wake him up. Yep. You want to wake him up? I, I, I grab some water from a nearby well and splash it on his face. You splash it on his face. He wakes up with a start. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sharpie! Sharpie! It's you! What are you doing here? I, uh, happy Father's Day. <laughs> I want my cake. <laughs> what? If I'm... What are you doing here? I, I, I came to visit you. I, I, I was out in the field, and I was trying to work up my mage powers, and I had an epiphany that I should come and atone with you. Finally come to take a run at your old man, hey? That's very brave. No, brah, no. He- <laughs> Dad, I, I'm not going to take a run at you. You're a barbarian. I just wanted to be a wizard. Like, I, I came to take a run at your feelings. <laughs> Your words strike a chord and his face softens. Oh. He says, you know, back when I used to beat you. <laughs> it was because I thought magic would make you weak. But now I realize magic is strength. Hmm. Magic is the universe. I shunned magic. But now I realize magic is power. It binds my tribe and crushes my enemies underfoot. And that's why I've been pursuing these fragments. Perhaps you've heard of them. They're called the fragments of power. Don't we have one of those fragments? I uh, <laughs> I whisper to Sharpie. <laughs> it's Whis- kind of an Abbott and Costello kind of. <laughs> I think we have. I think we have two of them. We got two of those fragments. <laughs> Dad, I think we have two of them. You two, think? Two fragments. Well, I, we had one, and then... Don't lie to your father, Sharpie. Well, I just can't keep track. <laughs> Dad, I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> and, I, and, and often uh, our adventures occur late in the evening when I've crossed a threshold. <laughs> well, show them to me. I pull out my dick and balls. <laughs> and then I say, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> not, not those fragments. <laughs> I, uh, we had two fragments, right? We had the one that we the got. The one that from you the... had and the one you stole from Darkstar, yeah. Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. I, 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 I pull him out. <laughs> you, pull, you whip him out. <laughs> well, he inspects the dazzling crystals. He says, yes, yes, these will do nicely. And he takes them from you. Well, what, Dad? <laughs> do you want to? Okay, I'm sorry. He attempts to take them from you. And I, I go, ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I. I don't know. You he, just were, just, he just rolled the dice. <laughs> You're much quicker than him and pull the, the stones back. His face contorts with rage. I jump in front of Sharpie and say, listen, we just met you, and I know you're his father, but if you want what we've fought so hard to gain, we, we, want, we will exact a price for them. Jesus. <laughs> he looks at you with a new understanding, and then you see behind him approaching Yurch the Knoll. He's slinking up. He's holding a haunch of meat, and he's munching on it. A haunch of what? Of meat. A, ha- a haunch of meat. I, I ask him if he likes his what he's eating. 
Yes, yes. He does. On closer inspection, you realize it's the leg of a knoll. Oh, I take an arrow and I shoot it at his uh, at his shoe, so it just hits the shoe into the ground, but not his foot. The the, the severed foot or his personal foot, the one he owned. Like. His his personal foot, but I don't hurt him. I just I just uh, keep him. I like a like a bug that I'm. Spencer, did you give me power attack to use on Moraine Sedona? Because I'm fucking I'm this close. You guys make the action. I mean, okay, so you shoot at his foot, at his foot. Yeah, or just, near just, his just foot. To, just to keep him. It's, it seems like the right thing to do. <laughs> well, it does miss. He looks at you with, with anger. And All right, he, everybody. He approaches Mango without you guys talking. He approaches Mango, and they turn their backs to you and whisper to one another. You see him pull something out of his pocket. It looks kind of like your crystal, but it's a deep blood red. He hands it to him. Dad, listen. You said that you have a newfound respect for magic. So uh, I would hope that that would be a entree into a newfound respect for your son's vocation and a newfound respect for the potential destruction that magic can cause. These two shards that we've uncovered, you know, we got them from shitty people who were, who were corrupted by their power. And, uh, you know, we just need to make sure, I'm, I'm all for gathering all of them, to keep them out of the hands of the shitty. Uh, so let's not get all grabby. <laughs> he seems a bit calmed by your speech. You know, you always had a way to convince him. Sometimes, when what happens if we, if we, if you combine all these shards together? What, what is the uh, the force that that creates? You see, the fragments of power are about fragments of the tapestry of fate. <laughs> you can imagine the universe. <laughs> As the, the reflection of the light, that light is magic. The light comes through the tapestry of fate and projects our reality. But these forge, they determine what the reality is. With the fragments in hand, one can determine whatever reality they wish and will it into being. Ooh. We can change the tapestry with the charts? With the fragments of power, you are the tapestry. Ooh. <laughs> now, do we have three of the four or all four now? You guys personally have two. One of them's the one you found, and one of them's a pretty large one that you purified from the Admiral Darkstar. He ha you saw that red one, maybe. So that's, that's, that's probably number three. Yeah, he might have other ones he hasn't told you about. I mean, I'll carry it because I'm very strong. Which one? The large one. <laughs> You'd have to ask Sharpie for that. He owns it right now. Well, you, uh, you can carry it. I, cool I was it. just trying to help. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. I say that we uh, we combine these three. Look, Sharpie. I, I, I pull Sharpie and Moraine aside and say, like, here's the deal. Like, we, we don't know what's going to happen when all four of these are together and who's going to control them. But I say at least let's make sure that we as good people are involved when the four are united and we can cross that bridge when we come to it. Let's unite these three and then go after the fourth one together. Right, but first we gotta purify this red one. All right, uh, Dad, uh, you know, your crystal, your shard's red. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be. <laughs> what do you know of these stones? Have well, you studied them? Well, I've, you know, I got some hands on experience. I, I've, I've taken two of them, and I, uh, you know, I, I, I think I purified one of them. I was, again, very drunk. <laughs> I, I'm not coming to you as a proud man, Dad. I'm coming to you as a guy with two shards. And I'm saying yours is red, and I, I, I think that, you know, w when they're different colors, they should be purified. Look, and I... Nanu, Nanu. Oh, okay, all right. All right, take it easy. <laughs> if I've learned one thing on this adventure, different colors should be purified. Can I try to purify your red crystal, Dad? I don't know what this purification process might do. Would it? Do you know what this is? Well, it ain't gonna make them less magical. Do you know that? Yes. <laughs> you say reasonably unconvincingly. Oh, you convince them. Climactic and unclimactic at the same time. <laughs> oh, yeah, you fucking nailed it. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. You fucking did it. That's how it goes. 
He hands you the red crystal. Did I purify the last one? Yeah, but you don't know what that means. I mean, you haven't you haven't like done tests on an unpurified versus a purified. Yeah, but I can't. Can I? I do, what did I do last time to remember when we got? You the touched one? them together, and one of them turned from like dark colored to like bright dazzling. Oh, color. okay. That's really all you know. I turn my back and I go, Om Shabai, Om Adwai, Om Adwai. But I just put the three together. <laughs> Is that from Temple of Doom? <laughs> no, it's uh, from Blanking. gibberish. Okay. You notice the red one glows and it actually turns the larger one red. Oh, oh shit. Ooh. All right, well, let's, let's just hope that red is good. <laughs> let's commit to this. Maybe red's good. Doesn't sound good. Uh, may I use Alchemist's Fire to examine the uh, color of the stones? Alchemist's Fire is a magical bag containing reagents that, when exposed to air, burst into flame. It's essentially an incendiary device. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Why don't you shoot more arrows at people's feet? <laughs> Why did you do that? Did you think he was going to eat a, a, a chicken leg a, a, against us? The, she just the... knows she has arrows, and she keeps shooting them all the time at people. <laughs> No, I thought he was going to run away, so I just wanted to keep him still. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you Adventure! Yeah, well. Sure don't tell. Mango calls. Well, what's, good? what's going on? You took, my, you took my thing. I was just doing a thing. So what happened? The, you were big, chanting the red one turned another one red? Yeah. So we have one, one purified one and two red ones? Yes. So I think it's probably dangerous to combine all three of these together, right? It might very well I be. Said we, I said we find the fourth one and maybe... Uh, there might very well be more than four. Can I ra ranger for the fourth one? Ranger. <laughs> you range unsuccessfully. <laughs> I'm, sure. so, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. I throw one of my seven knives at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> it can't hurt to try. <laughs> All right. Dad. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yes. What would you think about taking these things to someone that would know better than us, uh, you know, what uh, what their potential and dangers are? You want to know what their potential dangers are? Check this out. <laughs> Zip. <laughs> he grabs his red crystal from your hand, and he swallows it. What? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Nothing happens. Nothing, nothing happens. This is true power. All right. Uh, Sw swallow, swallow your red one then. This is, this is why I left home. I, uh, uh, I never said he was sane. He might be crazy. D Dad, so what? Have you, is that the first time you've ever done that? No, no. I had, this is my third. You've, ha you've swallowed Wait, the second one's the hardest. Oh, so he's got one more inside him already. It's two oh. more. Two more. You got two more? This is the third one he swallowed. <laughs> so, okay, so, Dad, what can you do ha having swallowed this? <laughs> Soon. Soon you'll see. <laughs> Are we supposed to cut him open and get yeah. those things? That's a lot. How much do you He care? presents his belly. <laughs> he presents, no, no, he presents no, his joke. belly. That's a joke. I could use, could I use my, my arrow to do surgery that's painless and then... <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. That's, uh, I don't, I, I don't... What's, a, what's your surgery rating? <laughs> That, that's heal skill. Heal skill? I think you're like a plus nine to heal. Dad, I'm really taken aback by your behavior. <laughs> I'm not surprised. You know nothing of the fragments. You know nothing of the tapestry. You know nothing of true magic. Can we get the uh, fellowship of the nerds up here to help us out and tell us what to do? Yeah, no, I know, I know a corruptive magic when I see it. So, he, but he's not trying to go for my fragments, right? No, I still have my no. two. Not yet, although he does occasionally eye them. Yes. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I've seen this before. Sharpie, s s swallow yours too, and then you'll be his equal. It'll be like a atoning with him. No, I'll just have two fucking unused fragments, and like he'll kill me. I, 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 like, I don't know what to do. This seems like a great. Uh, oh, he said detect magic. Detect a magic. Well, you, have, you, have two, you have two stones, one that's purified and one that's not purified. So why don't you detect magic to see which is stronger? Ooh. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's in the way that she uses it. <laughs> <laughs> 
What does detect magic detect? Like uh, detect magic allows you to see auras emanating out of things that are magical. As you focus harder, those auras become more distinct and determine the nature of such magic. Uh, can, I, can I can I tell something that's more magical from something that's less magical? Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I, I because this l- guy's l- a l- hero. L- listen to that guy. I will I will detect <laughs> cast detect magic on my dad's stomach. <laughs> And on the shards in my hand. You sense several auras of magic. One's coming from the stone in your hand. One's coming from the larger stone that was uh, it's been turned red now. A huge aura is emanating out of Lord Butts a lot. And a, and a sizable aura is emanating from Jeff's pocket. <laughs> well, that we knew about. <laughs> you know what they say about a... No one with the uh, with a big sword. <laughs> you notice Lord Butts a lot is emanating a, ma- a magic of intense chaos and anger and power. Wait, I I, I have a I have I, I have magic too. Yeah, you can't see it though, Sue. I mean, unless he says something to you, you have no idea this is happening. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going into panic mode. Uh, so what's next, Dad? Uh, where were you headed next? We take this fight to the dwarves. You see, the dwarves have fragments, too. They want ours. We need to wipe them out before they finish their war plans and decimate my lands. Where do you think they are, the dwarves? The mountains that they live in. You see, they're using... (laughs) Dwarves like mountains. Yeah, no, I know they do. Do I know know that I have an emanating thingy throbbing? No, you don't. Okay. (laughs) Sorry, sorry, Jeff. You can Uh, tell him. Uh, shit. Well, I mean, we we're, the show's is there, way too we, late. We, we're this missing a piece. Uh, what? Sorry. There are pieces in existence. You have a few of them. So there might right be now, are we more. trying to are we trying to find a missing piece, or we're trying to figure out what's happening? You're with talking these? to your dad, or you're talking to his dad. He seems to want to get the ones from the dwarves, or maybe just kill the dwarves. Let's unite forces and kill the dwarves and, and combine these shards together. Yes, a barbarian after my own heart. <laughs> And two arrows. Two arrows of the dwarves. Two arrows well served. <laughs> Wait, did she just try to kill me? I'm a, I'm no, no, to no, the no dwarves. At, the, at the dwarves. Oh, you, you, keep, you keep shooting arrows at everything. <laughs> you just said kill the dwarves, and I yes anded you and said, yeah, let's kill the dwarves. Okay. How do I please you? <laughs> You say jump, I say how many arrows high. Okay. All right. I just once bitten, twice shy. We've never gone this late. We have to find a place to stop the the, the show, but it's it's never... I I say that you make a big proclamation to, to me... To Mulrain and to your, to Lord Butts a lot about what about like like uh, just like uh, Peter Jackson is breaking up the Hobbit into three acts. <laughs> I say you find a way to end this non-act break in a great flourish, in, the, in a way that you would end uh, you would break up the Hobbit into one third. Right. Like, so, and then uh, yes, well, as I recall from the Lord of the Rings, the thing that one character did was, did you ever notice when it seems like a story is bad? <laughs> That it actually turns out it's good because there'll be another story? And then the other guy was like, yeah, I guess you're right. And then they ended the movie. That was how the... But we can't do that here. Sure we have can. more craftsmanship. I just did it and it didn't work. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> Yo. Yeah. 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 We want to thank Spencer all yeah. for being up here. Thank you, Spencer. Yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. 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 Aaron McGathy, yeah. Mulray yeah. Tadana, thank yeah. you for being here. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Crystal Shards. Crystal Shards got power. Power going down to the hour. Got a fragment of this, got a fragment of that. Fucked your mama's dog, fucked your mama's cat. <laughs> fucked your mama in a gnome village. Fucked your mama and her pussy I pillage. Fucked your mama with an axe, fucked your mama with a hammer. Fucked your mama and made her start to stammer. She was like, oh, that's good. Fucked your mama with a sword made of wood. Fucked your mama in the fire high plains. Fucked your mama <laughs> in the grains. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Harmon Town, everybody. Sorry, sorry. A little, kind of a long one. Uh, but hey, hey. 
You ever have a really big pizza? Sometimes the pizza's really big. It makes you sick the next day. Uh, as good as, uh, was all pizza. Thank you so much for coming down to Nerd Melt Theater. Thank you for listening. I'm Jeff Davis with the Comptroller. Your mayor, Dan Harmon, one more time. I'd also like to thank Katie Levine, our audio recording, Zach McKeever on tech, Emily Gordon, our producer of the live show, Daniel Kramer, program director, Dustin Marshall, podcast producer, Mo Fafelbab, on site director, Jenny Fine, logo designer, and Jerry Shaggett, web designer. Thank you so much for everyone who's joining us tonight. Thank you for the Fellowship of the Nerds. Thank you, Anastasia, for coming up. Adam Goldberg, hit the showers. <laughs> thank you, Harmon Town. The colors purify colors. Thank you.